three. Today we are going to recover golf cart seat cushions. Um, there's a few pieces to the set, but we are going to focus mainly on this one piece. And we are going to show you how to make the cover uh, without a pattern. We're going to fit it to the seat itself. And these are very similar to boat seat cushions. And um, we're using some nice fancy uh, vinyl for this golf cart company. And Jamie is going to show you how to reupholster. What we're going to do first is we're going to find the center of the seat. And once we get that taken care of, draw out what, we're, what the pattern is going to be like on the front side. Um, these, we do a lot of these so I have a, uh, an idea of how big I want to make the pieces. Uh, I take this, uh, the center piece, which would be one type of material, and uh, make it 10. The, uh, piece of material is going to be 10 also. And now the very last piece is going to be smaller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and mark right on the edge where it starts to turn. That's going to be the edge of the seat itself. It won't look straight, but uh, as I put everything together, I'll straighten it out. So now, we we'll take our materials. And Kim said that we were going to do a whole set. So on this one, there'll be two back seats and two front seats. They're all different sizes, so I've got all different measurements for them. Uh, so. Draw us a couple of straight lines so we can keep our line straight. And I'm going to make most of the pieces all at one time. Uh, all the seats. I'll start with the blue. All the pieces are 10. So we can just make as many pieces out of one piece as we can until we're completely done with the one color. This gets welts also of this color. Uh, I'll just show you that on the finished product. These are going to be 12 inches tall. And the rest vary from uh, 18 up to 22 inches tall. But I try to keep them all the same width, that way I don't have to change the dimensions. And it saves a lot of time. get as many pieces out of one piece as you can. Save your material and cut down on costs. So 
I'm going to stop the video here and get back to you when I uh, uh, start doing the uh, other material. And that will be a lot of straight lines, so it's just now going to be a matter of sewing everything together when I get those done. You can go ahead and cut through. Now we're going to, now we're going to start with um, the second material. Not to mention written on the uh, seat itself. Take those. Dimensions of 11 and uh, 11 by 10 and 5 by 10. And give yourself a little bit of extra material. Don't take yourself short. this on foam like we did with the pleated material. Sew everything together in our next step. And then we'll go to fitting the cover, the front part of the cover to uh, the seat itself. Uh, we had a piece of boxing that was four inches. If you have enough material, I suggest that you make it all in one piece. It just comes out nicer. And it looks a whole lot more professional. start sewing the seats together. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it. Uh, this this will take the most time. Uh, sewing the fleece down on the phone.
these seams are not exactly measured, but they're the width of uh, a two-inch uh, yardstick. But when you sew it, make sure that you leave yourself a half an inch or so for your seam. Now this is going to be the the secondary color. Somebody asked why we put the oil in on the bobbin. It's really not on the bobbin. The bobbin's encased. So just to keep the friction down, uh, that's why we do oil the bobbin casing. Excess, not really necessary uh, at this point. Just the two sides that you're sewing together, you want those to be even. So when you do sew, start sewing pieces together, you use the same uh, point on the material all the time. Three eighths of an inch uh, is definitely enough. You go a half an inch, then you kind of have to watch what, uh, watch where the lines go. Now we've got the top piece. We're going to be. Uh, Put together. What I like to do, don't cut exactly as super close to the uh, seam that you just sewed, sewed together. Uh, but if you do so, I mean, if you do cut those pieces apart, the material will lay a lot flatter. You won't get a bulge in the seam area. consistent with your lines you can use the same point on the material and the same point on the sewing machine to sew everything together it stays very straight
now that all the pieces are sewn together, take a break and actually fit this top portion to the seat cushion now itself. Now we're going to uh, fit the, uh, the top cover to the cushion itself. We'll find the center of the cushion cover. And we'll fasten it on. these pins in place. Now this has a really unusual curve at the top. Sometimes you'll have to actually fit that piece on the large one that, uh, that we're doing of this set. I actually have to fit it in two pieces. This one, we're gonna let it go with just one. Now the line that I drew uh, along the edge of the seat is the one I am going to draw out. And one side, one side should resemble the other side at least. We may try to straighten them out so that it does look equal on both sides. Once we get it sewn up, This is the curve I'm talking about right here. It's not very dramatic. However, on this seat, you can see how far it dips down. This you'll have to fit something like this. Uh, I do have a pattern for this one because we do so many. But to fit it is pretty much uh, exactly the way I just showed you. You just pin it in place, mark it out. If you want to try to save some material, take it take a piece of plastic uh, or any kind of scrap material, make yourself a pattern, keep that pattern. If you think you are gonna do as many as we do, uh, I would say in the neighborhood of, oh, two or three a month at the very least. This is the uh, final step. I'm gonna staple this down. If we've done anything right, it'll fit.
And with a little cleanup, you're into the excess material. The job is complete. Thank you. Ta-da!